tuned in to the award-winning WZBN News. Right now, let's continue with tonight's broadcast. If you look at this beautiful house behind me, you may think it looks like just the typical home, but its owner and creator says that it may revolutionize the way we think about living with alternative energy sources. When Mike Strizky enters his house in the evening, he finds all the modern conveniences of home. A microwave, a refrigerator, and yes, even a big screen TV. But there are a few things he doesn't have. I never have a power failure here, and I, I essentially don't have to have a fuel delivery. I don't need an electric service. That's because Mike's house is completely powered by the renewable energy of solar panels and hydrogen that's stored during those sunny summer months in these tanks for the darker winter time. This is a totally renewable system and it meets all of the energy needs. Cooking gas, heating gas, fuel for the vehicle. Yes, that's right, even the car's powered by hydrogen. And most everything from the car to the collection system for the energy was thought of by Mike in his complicated garage. Renewable energy has been a passion of his since he helped a local school's electric vehicle club many years ago when their electric car broke down before competition. He grabbed us, put us in his van, we came racing up in the middle of the night on a rainy night to this place, to that barn over there. I don't even know who he was. And he starts banging around, throwing things together. And I said, is this guy crazy? He fixed the thing, gave us a charge, and we're back in the race. Now for this homeowner, the race has changed, with the focus on making renewable energy homes possible. But there have been some bumps along the way. The hardest part has been the building codes, turning the project into a four-year-long struggle. The uh, science is there, the technology is there, the method, the safe methods are there. It was a regulatory process. And besides the codes, there's the money. The house took a half a million dollars in private and public donations to build. But Mike says he hopes someday soon it will be possible to bring the technology home for everyone. When computers started, uh, you basically paid $30,000 for something with two floppy drives. Now I've got more power in my wristwatch than they had in those computers at one one thousandth of the cost. A cost that environmentalists say will be well worth it to keep the earth of our children's future clean. In Hopewell Township, Lauren Unger, WZBN News.